Hello everyone, Arbitran here, and welcome to an interesting game I found called Bibbits. So Bibbits is a evolution simulator where you have the creatures in this world developing not only different parts of the body, but also a more developed brain, improving the AI of them and also the physical capabilities of them. So I'm going to be doing a battle royale in the most uh, default environment without uh, random spawning. And if I were to press start simulation with just all the default settings, as there are like a ton you can edit, but it's going to stick to default for now, I'm going to go to the Bibbit spawner. I'm going to spawn, I think, 10 of each of these Bibbits and see which Bibbit is the best Bibbit. So as I spawn these in, let me tell you the rules. It's going to be quite simple. The last species alive and not extinct is the winner. I can pull up this graph. You can now see basic Bibbits. Now if I go switch over to a different one, the camel, going to spawn all these in just in every part of the world and then I'll start the simulation. And here we have every Bibbit besides one individual one which is one that was used for a tournament that obliterated every other one because that would be relatively unfair in comparison to these other uh, 90 Bibbits. So now we're ready to start the simulation. So we have the basic Bibbit which is default. Actually I'm going to pull up the uh, description. It was uh, the basic Bibbit is the most basic Bibbit. It's a herb Herbivorous bibbit that will move around slowly, look for plants, and eat them. You have the camel, who is a very efficient herbivore, and they evolve to browse the vast distances between pellet pockets. You have the heasy herbivore, which is a good herbivore bibbit that will get you started in your simulation. You have the Nigel, will not the best predator, but it's a predator. You have the parasite, which is a bloodsucker. You have the seer shooter, which is a meme that shoots uh, random things it finds. You have the Squalus nova, which are carnivores. You have the vultures, which are adapted to scarce maps, and also a whale, which is pretty big. With that said, comment below which species you think is the best. A lot of the creatures are flying into the void. Wonderful. Alright, so over here we have the carnivore, which I think are cannibalizing each other. Over here, we have the Squalus Nova, which are sort of vibing and flying into the void. You have the camel which isn't moving very much. Vultures, which are, oh, well that, that one's gonna die. <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like a lot of these aren't adapted to the void, which is right there. However, the basic bibbits uh, are doing pretty well, and so are the easy herbivores, which is to be expected, as those are, well, adapted to being an herbivore. And this is quite a herbivore-based place at the moment. Until later, when everything starts to die and meat gets more plentiful. So you also have the whales, which, what is their stats looking like? Oh, yeah. I don't think they're gonna die anytime soon. <laughs> that is a ton of energy that they can store up, and they also produce particles for some reason. And let's get to the let's get to the brain, uh, the brain of these things. You have the brain here. That's uh, simple. It uh, will always accelerate and eat food. You have the herbivore, which is um. I don't know how to comprehend that. You have the Seeker Shooter, which is, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, whale seems a bit more simple. It, it wants to eat. Got it. Great. Uh, the Vulture. These things are so complex. So this is the, uh, this is essentially the brain of the creature and how they function. I'm not entirely sure how to read all of this. <laughs> seems like they grab an object and hold on to it. You have the Nigel thing right over here. Alright. Interesting, interesting. Now, the actual... I'm pretty sure this is the good predator. Doesn't seem to be doing very well. I mean, they're also not really eating that much meat. Yeah, they're barely having any. At the moment, it seems like the easy herbivores are doing the best. Now, let's continue the simulation for a bit longer. I'm just gonna uh, actually increase the speed here. Uh, center myself and increase the speed. Alright, there we go. Let us increase the speed and take a look at these. So, this is the count of each and their amount of energy. Let's uh, change this to an energy thing. Alright, oh, we already have some extinct. Uh, yeah, we have a few extinct minutes now as they are starting to just disappear. Oh, this is the last Squalus Nova. Let's see their health. Let's see their stats. Oh, they're about to go. And they are dead. My right, parasites, somehow still alive. Uh, let's see. It takes 24 to lay an egg. I don't think they're going to get that. 
anytime soon because they need to find something actually nearby to kill. Uh, easier vores are starting to go down in population while the whales are still relatively fine, likely due to their massive size. You have the vultures, just vibing. Camels are still alive, holding in there. And uh, let's see when another creature is near extinction. All right, last nine are left. Let's see, will they be able to not die here? Uh, no, it doesn't look like that. They look like, oh yeah, they're done. They're not gonna... Oh, wait. Do they kill it? They killed something. They're fine for, uh, They're fine again. Just barely away from that sword. I think they're killing the uh, easy herbivores, which don't have much in the ways of avoidance. But uh, let's follow this guy. Uh, oh no, they're actually really close to death. So they're using their energy to heal their health. But now they're out of energy again. Because they appear to be purely carnivorous. And that didn't work out too well. We have the parasites left. Oh, wait, parasites actually doing a great job. It is latched onto something. Uh, which is spinning in a circle. What is this? Oh, it's not getting any food though. Yeah. Yeah. It's just slowly killing them. But it doesn't appear to be gaining energy. And this parasite is... Oh, oh, I don't think they're gonna... They're not gonna live that. I think they got stuck in those orbs. Alright. Looks like they are dead. Last parasite is right here. And let's see if they go down. Alright, it appears that they have a very inefficient system. Uh, and are now very dead. Alright, we have two basic pivots left. These ones are so scattered across the map. They could be going down. And the whales, now that everything else is dying are getting a good advantage here. This is not looking good. There's one more basic pivot, but it's almost a age where it can actually make other basic pivots exist. However, it is uh, it is the last one, so it could be killed at any moment. Oh, and same thing as Easy Herbivore. Both of them are about to die. Even though this map is huge, it seems like herbivores aren't doing pretty well in this massive herb herbivorous space, <laughs> really. Oh, is this one about to get murdered? It seems like the whales are passing them, but if a whale touches them, they may get bitten and die. Okay. Both of them seem to be holding on. Uh, this one is going to actually be able to make a another basic pivot. That easy reward just got a child's well. Alright. These ones are about to do fine, and they're about to recover from almost dying. Oh! Uh, getting off of the basic pivot, it seems the vultures are also about to die. This one is fine at the moment. This vulture is in the where are you <laughs> where is the world in comparison okay so they've wandered too far into the void and are likely going to die because of it as whales are getting an increased uptick all right yeah this uh that vulture is not gonna last oh wait they're going back they're going back will they save themselves oh or will they run to a whale the whales had like a 23 for a moment there they went back down Ooh, he's airborne back on death's door oh extinct Got it. Basic pivot. Somehow not dying. Same thing as the vulture. The vulture and the basic pivots are kind of just holding on uh, at the very end. Uh, the vulture isn't even old enough to get more vultures. This is uh, this is the only hope for the basic pivots. <laughs> and the hope for the vultures isn't looking too bright. Great. It does appear as if this vulture is about to go extinct which is a bit unfortunate. So, yeah. <laughs> Movement strength, lower, lower, lower. Uh, and it seems like they are done. Somewhere in the void. I don't even know where they are. So, oh wait, basic pivot. There's now a second basic pivot. Well, let's go over here. All right. There are now two pivots. Let's hope they don't get murdered by a camel. That's right, the camels are carnivores. <laughs> and uh, I actually saw one just like, murder a whale, but I didn't, I wasn't able to get it, like, on screen. But yeah, now we have two pivots. They're back on the board, and not dead. And this one could potentially get even more pivots, depending on what happens, but it does seem like they are getting surrounded at the moment by a swarm of whales. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, these whales are just kind of aggressive. Not gonna lie. They are just going at these, they're kind of like just going around things. That was some damage taken. How much was that? Oh, that was 112 damage done 
to that pivot there with one like side sweep but it seems like the whales are actually hurting around each other and sort of consuming the entire map space so i guess we'll have to see who comes on top of this evolution <laughs> shenanigans right, let's go back to camel all right camels are doing fine they appear to be omnivorous as well as murderous okay now these these boats are one sweep away from death did that oh well looks like they just cannibalized their own child well, that race is kind of hopeless. Oh, but now there's another one. Never mind. This is just... What even is this creature? All right, camels are... Everywhere. Oh, whales are going for murder. Seems like the whales, being you know, like that initial big size, is just allowing them to bully every other creature. But let's get back to this in a while. It does appear that the fully grown, a basic pivot, was murdered by a whale. Oh, right. That means there's only two of these other ones left. Oh, what generation are they on? They are on generation two. All right. So yeah, I guess they have survived a few generations, and these whales are at some pretty varying generations. A lot of from a lot still from zero on the first generation, and the camels likely the same story. It's really it seems to be a battle between the camels and the whales. Let's see how this plays out. It appears that we have a second evolution of parasites, as this creature this one camel, is draining the blood from this whale. Yup. As you can see, its health is going down really quickly, and this thing's energy is being relatively fine. Also, that's the last basic bit there. Let's see, did anything change in their brain? Let's... I wonder. Maybe not, but something definitely changed as they can now drink blood. As a evolutionary thing that the camel got. Also, this pivot is likely gonna die. This is the last pivot again, and uh, this time it's not looking all too good. Will this whale be saved by the other whale? Because this camel is... Oh, just barely. It seems like they actually don't want to touch each other. As, uh, yeah, that, that whale could have just saved their friend, but uh, nope. They have exploded. Back to the basic pivot. They are actually relatively safe at the moment. How is this thing just avoiding everything? Like, everything is going, like, right by this pivot here. It just, like, I was, like, looking at it, like, alright, it's gonna die sometime. And then it just narrowly avoids everything. Does it have something in its brain? No, it's, it's stupid. Hmm. It doesn't have anything in its mind to... It is just stupid lucky. Alright, then. This pivot may actually survive again. Oh. It just got... Its luck ran out. Now, it is just a battle between the whales and the camels of this land. Seems like the whales have quite a clear lead, but let's see what happens after a long period of time passes and all these creatures have enough time to evolve. Alright, we are 1 hour and 40 minutes in game time in, and it appears as if the whales are currently leading by a good sum, and I don't think they developed anything. They have actually, they have some like pheromone cysts that they could use. If these creatures evolve to avoid the red pheromone particles, they should be fine. It seems like the 101 whales may be a bit too many <laughs> at this point, as they had a pretty good lead as like one of the hardiest creatures on the board, and nothing was really able to kill them, while the camels, uh, and basically every other rabbit that is a carnivore, continued to kill each other, because uh, let's point them in like, relatively like, close proximity, including the whales, but the whales actually have something inside them that makes them sometimes avoid other whales. That's... I guess I wouldn't evolve to stop doing that, but like a lot of the whales are actually like moving around each other, as you saw, you see, like them expertly avoiding collision with each other. So the camels don't have that; they just run at anything. So because the whales have that, and it's quite a small map, they keep on getting this like huge advantage here. Now, I'm gonna go until one of these species is extinct. Although you may be able to tell which one that'll be. It seems like the last of the camels are about to. Uh, Happen. Let's get a let's get a close up on some of these, as we just um, time lapse all of them getting likely murdered. Well then, there was also some interesting things that I noticed as this was happening. Uh, it also took two hours and thirty minutes in game time for all these creatures to settle the feud. But some of the whales at one point were producing blue instead of red. I wasn't able to really catch that on camera, unfortunately, but it was some weird thing that happened.
But yeah, that is uh, Bibbits. If you liked it, leave a like and consider subscribing.